It can be argued that the remaining year's worth of growth is more important than the current growth rate. How many years into the future can you see Palantir growing at a strong rate? Well, first of all, I would agree that when you're talking about a growth company like Palantir, it's very important for that future growth to actually materialize into what would be current growth. So growth of any kind is very important because that's how you're able to trade upon increased multiples and essentially you're paying for growth into the future. So growth in the present moment is very important because it can just justify present day numbers and growth in the future sort of extends a multiple expansion uh, such as for Palantir price to sales versus a company that's not growing at all. So growth is very important for companies, especially when they're not yet profitable and they hope to attain profitability into the future. And in terms of how many years into the future could I see Palantir growing at a strong rate? It depends on what you classify a strong rate as for Palantir. I would say a strong rate, perhaps maybe above 20% year on year growth. And that's something that I think Palantir will, will have no issue with in the next five years. And realistically, I think they can do over 20% through the end of the decade. It might get more challenging towards the end of the decade, but I think this is definitely a five, six, seven year proposition for the company, especially if they're able to execute on the commercial product as much as they say they will. And this is, of course, excluding any consumer products, which I think many of us have come to ignore at this point because there's no evidence of that. Palantir has so much on their plate right now, and there really isn't room for something like that, nor does it really fit into the master plan at this moment. But in terms of their commercial product, I really think they, they could definitely sustain over 20% into the future. And that's how you're able to factor in and discount those cash flows from the year 2030 back to today, as I've been working on. And that's how you justify Palantir's current valuation and something much higher and the growth rate in terms of an investor return you would get in between that delta.